somebody came up with a particular post about the Ghana music industry on a recent video I did talking about Ghana music industry versus Nigerian music industry to an extent. And a lot of people don't like talking about this particular topic of discussion because there is a kind of hate going on between the Ghana music industry and the Nigerian music industry among their fans, not the artists themselves. Talking about that, a person of David O actually brought out uh, Ato and uh, King Promise at his uh, shows in Atlanta and that was so loud and they were excited to be part of uh, David O's movement. <laughs> This person said, Ghanaians YouTubers are the ones propagating and instigating hatred towards Nigeria and Nigerians. They are doing whatever it takes to turn other African countries against Nigeria or Nigeria. To an extent, we that are in the blogging space understand this. They constantly attack us to an extent. And I think that is not going to help Ghana music industry. They need to focus on what is really happening in the music industry in Ghana and not focusing on the hatred they have for Nigeria for their successes or their gains in the music or the Afrobeat world. Do you quite agree with this person that made this particular comment on social media on my page? I want you to put in the comment section below. Ghana music industry lacks funding and support from Mr. Logic, a talent manager in Ghana. He spoke this and a lot of people quite agree with him. I saw his own perspective. Most stakeholders or the industry stakeholders in Ghana, they are not really making big investments in their Afrobeat sector or their music or entertainment sector. That is quite telling a lot about how poor the industry is and i think they need to increase funding and increase support for that industry from within before asking the externals or the external investors to come in and invest they want to see your commitment to an extent before committing to your industry that is one thing you need to understand as an industry player in ghana you know, Sharawale has been talking about, yes, you know, Ghanaian music industry is full of hate, some other things. You know, a lot of people hate Sharawale for this, especially bloggers. They talk about that. Recently, Sharawale actually made a post that is going viral. In 2022, he made a post about the Ghanaian music industry. On X, Sharawale said, I'm not your normal musician for you to tell me things. All of you in this foolish shit industry are on the wrong path. I am the only one on the right path. Start learning cause your head is big enough for common sense. Foolish boys on Twitter. Before Sharawale actually made this particular post on Twitter, it was a particular hatred that was met on him for standing on a particular opinion about the Ghanaian music industry to an extent. We should allow people to express their opinion about the music industry because by doing that, we are learning a lot and we can right our wrongs in the music industry in Ghana. Ghana should open up their corridor for international collaborations because it will play a major or vital role. They should look forward to collaborating with Nigerians and other African countries and also collaborating with the U.S. US, um, you know, artists that will play a major role for them getting recognition at the BETs or at the Grammy Awards or Academy to an extent. When you are not doing this, when you are not opening your, you know, music industry for external people to come and invest their energy in, you are not going anywhere. You cannot do it alone. Shadawale can confidently sell out stadiums in Ghana. But can you do that outside Ghana? That is one thing we need to ask ourselves because progress lies when he starts doing that outside Ghana, not within the Ghana, um, you know, kind of territory. That is one thing I keep saying at the time because we're talking about O2 Arena. Remember Sharawali came out to say, you know what? Ashake is bigger than the biggest artist in Ghana because Ashake was able to sell O2 Arena flawlessly. And can the biggest artist in Ghana sell out O2 to arena that is another question we need to answer but when you speak about this a lot of people in ghana and uh, their social media space will come at you and say a lot of things no matter what you say you have to advise your industry stakeholders you know to actually put in more effort funding and uh, support you know the industry at a time like this especially your bloggers they should focus on promoting the ghanaian music industry positively and 
you know, promoting hatred for Nigeria or trying to turn other African countries against Nigeria. Over the years, Nigerians have invested a lot of money, a lot of effort, and a lot of resources in their music industry. And this is paying off right now. Recent Grammy nominations, Nigerians dominated the Grammy nomination from Africa. And that is a big one, a big insight for you to understand. You guys should start copying Nigerian music models to promote your music industry to an extent. Even major genres of music in Africa, Nigerians are dominating. We took Aman Piano from South Africa. We were able to use it for Grammy nomination. We took Azonto from Ghana. We actually sold record deals with that, the likes of Olamide and others. We took a lot of um, you know music um, you know genres from other countries and we make it public this is owing to the fact that we've invested energy we've built a structure over the years and we've actually built platforms that support the industry i think you guys should learn from this model what is your own take about this i want you to put out in the comment section before i jump off i want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos 141,000 nigerians flee nigeria to uk within a year this is owing to economic hardship and to an extent it has a positive impact to the Afrobeat world. That is what a lot of people are getting to understand on Afrobeat blog. This makes it easier for Nigerian artists to climb charts in UK at a time like this because we have our brothers and sisters in UK streaming your songs on UK's platform and that is going to count for them at a time like this and a lot of people can see that evident enough in the recent uh, report by Apple Music and other platforms around the world like Spotify. To an extent it has a bad impact in the economy a lot of people are virtually fighting for their life at a time like this owing to the bad governance policies by this recent administration i think they need to find a way not stopping people physically from traveling but instead they should put in some policies that makes nigeria economically viable and friendly for young people to thrive guys what do you think about a collaboration between odumudu black and nasty c it's going to be so loud these guys are both big rappers in africa Odomodu black is one of the trending rap artists in nigeria and a person of narcissi is one of the biggest acts in south africa right now there is a particular collaboration between sharawale and techno that is one thing i want to talk about in this video because i spoke about if Ghanaians want to get hold or nominations at the grammys they need to do some certain things differently with the collaboration between sharawale and techno i think they are on the right path but they need to understand one thing that they need to jump in the trend that is one of the biggest advantage that some of the countries are taking off nigerians and other part of the world is that collaboration really going to pay off that is the question many people are really asking and they need answers to that i think it's not going to pay that well because techno is not a trending artist right now in nigeria you know they should have considered the likes of rema the likes of um Omale, the likes of um you know thames irasta and a lot of others that are trending if even the video burner boy and uh you know other artists to actually consider for a collaboration because that is the only means you can really jump into the lips of many people around the globe